Hi, so we are going to learn how to draw like Keith Haring. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you don't recognize this picture, please watch the first video I posted. That goes over who Keith Haring is and uh, what this picture is. This video is all about how to draw in his style. So starting out, we're going to learn how to draw this guy right here. You're going to need a pencil and paper and, if you have one, a marker. So to draw like Keith Haring, here are some tips and tricks. First, I want to make this pose. I'm not going to go ahead and start drawing all the lines at once. That's a lot, and there's an easier way to do it. First, I'm going to draw just a head, which is just a circle. We're going to do this lightly because we're going to erase a lot of it. Then we're going to draw a line for his spine, and then two arms coming up. And then down here, I'm going to draw a line going across for the hips, and then one leg, and another. So this is kind of like those wire people that we made. Think of this like a skeleton. And now, with your marker, you can draw the outside lines to give it more of that gingerbread man feel. So with your marker, starting at the top, you're going to draw over the top of the circle only. I'm not going to draw the bottom. Then for the arms, I'm going to use this little stick as a guide to see how long I need to make it. But I'm going to make like a tube shape with a little nub on the end. And notice I'm making it a lot thicker than that line is. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now when we get to the chest, we want to make sure that he doesn't get super skinny. So we want to make sure these lines go out really wide. Like that. And then his feet, we're going to use those lines as a guide. We're going to make a little foot at the end, kind of like a boot. We're going to go up, across, and down. Make another boot. And then connect it all together. And now we can take a nice eraser and get rid of all the pencil lines. And then we can color it in like that. The other thing I want to show you how to make is how to draw a key pairing dog. Now, you'll recognize these. They're all over my classroom because that's one of my favorite things about uh, Keith Haring is how he draws his animals. Let me just find my picture here. These guys. I have three of them in my classroom. See? There's one right there. So to draw a Keith Haring dog, very simple. It's uh, all just letters and shapes. So I always like to start with the ears, and the ears are the letter M. Then the mouth is one long rectangle and another one. Then we draw his back, straight line, little nubby for the tail. And then we fill in the rest with four rectangles. One, two, three, and four. Dogs are very simple. And then these are called radiating lines, and they show sound or movement or excitement. And that's what's so cool about Keith Haring is that you have a feeling about this dog. You can sense how he's excited, but there is no eye on his face. There isn't a tongue. There isn't any kind of expression. We just sense it because of these lines and the position he's in. Your project for today, now that you've learned how to draw both styles, is give me a Keith Haring person and a dog doing something. For example, something like this. Now I'm telling a story without any words. The dog wants the hamburger, dog barks at the guy, guy drops the hamburger, dog's really happy. So your job is to put two characters in a picture that gives me an idea of something happening, such as maybe they're dancing, 
Are they getting along? Is one excited? Is the other sad? Is one happy? Is the other confused? Use Keith Haring's style. Give me a little, uh, almost like a one panel comic strip. And then uh, make sure to send me a picture when you're done. Oh, by the way, if you don't have any markers to color it in, that's okay. I just need the drawing. 